tell me about the co the, the 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 bobbin winder, the regular bobbin winder that comes with a, a, a circular sock machine. Now that there you have one that's got the uh, the regular bobbin, right? Yes, the, reg okay. the regular bobbin is quite difficult to actually load evenly so it feeds through the machine nicely so okay. we'll just get it started for you and show you how it's supposed to be wound and you're supposed to come up and down in even strokes getting further and further up the cone as it loads okay. so slowly working your way up All right. unless it's wound even and in this manner it won't feed off of the bobbin through the machine nicely Okay. Now this can take a long time until you get used to the action of it. All right then. And then, then when you act, when you're actually knitting on the machine, is there a problem with the the yarn actually feeding off the bobbin? Yes, there is because the bobbin, as it comes off, sits under the machine like this, okay. and the yarn feeds off. All right. Evenly, if it's not yep. wound evenly, it catches on the ridges that you can make as you're winding it, which okay. is very easy to do. With and what disadvantage buttons. does that have? Does that interfere with the, you know, the, the knitting of the machine then? It does, it bumps it and you can lose stitches, it can okay. drop stitches and it, it can make right. a mess of your So that's the problem knitting. with the regular bobbin. Now, now, now show, me the, show me the adapter that uh, you can... This is the adapter okay. that, we've, that we've made and it uh -huh. fits on most of these bobbin winders that well that any that we've found it fits on it just okay. slides on into right. place so that 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 particular winder has a long a long uh, shaft on it doesn't it yeah it's quite unusual for this this type of one normally okay. they're this this size all right let's have a little look at this that this is so, a regular yeah. size one okay so that's that's that, that's a much shorter a much shorter tapered shaft yes okay all right and the cone still fits. Okay. The same cone still right. fits. And what about the third, the third winder you have there? And the third winder is kind of in between. Okay. It's it's not got the same taper. Okay. It's it's quite fat, and then it goes thin all of a sudden. Okay. But it's still the cone winder, cone right. adapter still fits. Okay, but it's a little bit tighter. It is a little bit tighter. Okay, but it, it, the, that particular cone will fit on all these, yeah. Yes, okay. it does. So they can be made if if there's a problem fitting them, then you can get back to us and just. And, ju and just let us know, and then we can t tell you tell yes, you what to do. Yes, and give you an idea as to what okay. to do. Okay. All right then. So, so show us this cone adapter in use then. All right. First of all, we slide on the cone adapter and push it so it's locked in place, so it's okay. not going to come off all with right. a slight okay. tug. Okay. Okay. Then we need just a cushion to put one of our cardboard cones on. And these are the regular. These are the regular cardboard cones that the yarn normally comes on. It, it, for, yeah, yes, the kind these, of commercial yarn. Yes, okay. Yes, this is All the right. commercial cone okay. wound yarn. And you normally and throw the them normally throw them away when you finish with the yarn, we right? We do. Okay. Yep, we do. Or we make dolls out of them for Christmas, okay. angels, all sorts of things. Sometimes we get cones that are a wee bit larger. Okay. Now, oh yeah, I can see that. If we want to use this size and you've only got this size, then you have to cut them down. Okay. Show me what will happen then if you try and fit that onto the adapter. Trying to put this one onto the adapter, it hits. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. The side here. All right, gotcha. So you can trim it down, trim yes. the large one down to the smaller. Probably about two or three inches. You okay. Need to trim so it show down. us one. Show us a regular one that doesn't need trimming. All right. This is the regular one. This okay. is the one that right. normal size cone that you get with most commercial yarns. Okay. Now we're just going to put a little bit of a cushion on there, which is just this non-slip that you can get anywhere. Okay, it's the kind of thing you have in an RV to stop your plates moving around in the cupboard, right? It is, exactly. Okay, yes. all right. Now, the, 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 co the, the, the cardboard cone does actually fit on there, doesn't it? And it fits on there snugly. It does. But, it, but it's a little bit, it's a, it's a little bit, yeah, so because it, it's a slippery it, surface, you do need that rubber cushion. You do, because as you're winding, this actually can slip. Okay, so let's fit the rubber cushion then and just go from there and then we can... Best laid plans. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we're on. All right. Now it's on there nice and snugly. Now it's on there nice and snugly. It's not going to come off as you're okay. winding. All right. Okay. So now to wind it is very easy. 
we just wrap the yarn around and it's wound a completely different way as to the rate the other bobbin that I just showed okay. you this time as you're winding you have to go up and down very quickly okay and the reason why you go up and down very quickly is to get an even wind and so you don't get a build up at the top of the cone right here okay if you get a build up of yarn what will happen is the the ends will actually slip off the end of it, it will slip right off okay cause a problem oh. you've got a little bit of slippage there so just just push it, it back, back on. on. Yes, yeah, because okay. I was playing around with it. Yeah. So if I keep mm -hmm. winding it, won't okay. You don't have to wind it on there tight, but you no have to way. go backwards and forwards, evenly and quickly. Okay. And this is the way it's done commercially. If yeah. you look at the yarns, of a, if you look at the strands of a commercial yarn, you'll see that they actually cross over quite quickly. Okay. The big open gaps. Right. And that's what we're looking for on these cones. Okay. When we right. wind them ourselves. So that's, why that's winding course. quite quickly as well, compared to the the standard wooden bobbin that you get with a winder. Oh yes, you can get you can wind. So it, it winds on a lot quicker. Yes, much quicker. And it, and and the way it's wound on is more suitable for spooling off when you're actually using the knitting machine. Yes, now machine. you can see what's happening as I'm winding. Can you see the difference? How quickly I'm winding that on? It's going up and down very quickly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, I can see that. Okay. Now this is just my waist yarn. I always reuse my waist yarn. Okay. Good. Okay, great. Well, that's the uh, that's the adapter that um, allows you to use your bobbin winder and make use of the cardboard cones that you normally get commercial yarns on. And it's also uh, a better way of spooling the yarn off when you're actually knitting in the yes. knitting process with the machine. That's great. Thank you. It enables you to use your bobbin winder. Most people just have them sitting on the side looking yep. pretty. Okay. Now there's a good use for them. We can wind our yeah, okay. wind our yarns ready. All right. You can do sock yarn or waist yarn. Great. Thank you.